Hi, Sus, Shana Brodax with another Sage tidbit. And I'm here to share a lesson learned from one of my executive coaching clients that I'm going to call Fred in the hopes that it might give you some insight in terms of your own leadership. So Fred was a general manager for a manufacturing company with a fairly large P&L in the United States who really prided himself on developing a culture of care, building nurturing relationships, and just really caring about his people. And he had a sales director who had a very much a command and control, sometimes authoritarian and micromanaging style that was affecting his team in a way that the team had low morale and they weren't performing at the level at which they needed to. And so one day I asked Fred, I'm just curious, what is getting in the way of you being more direct and giving, giving Larry some very direct feedback? and holding him accountable for changing his behavior to be more collaborative. And here's what he said. He said, well, my father always told me that when you're strong and I perceive myself to be strong, you must protect the weak. And Fred also told me that his father passed when he, right before he went to college and he was extraordinarily close to him. So this was a way of him honoring his father's guidance. So I asked him, well, how can you rationalize and balance honoring your father and his guidance with also um, ad addressing things with Larry in a way that the organization needs to, because in protecting Larry, you're not protecting his people. So Fred worked with Larry on this over time. And the end of the story is Larry ended up leaving the organization. He wasn't making the appropriate changes, but Fred was able to preserve the relationship with him and support him in his transition. And he ended up in a much better situation. And of course the organization was better off as well in terms of finding a leader who could behave in a more collaborative fashion. So my reflection questions for you today are, do you have any beliefs and mindsets that may be getting in the way of your leadership effectiveness? Um, are you protecting people in ways that is helpful or maybe in ways that's not so helpful? And how do you balance cultivating a culture of deep care for your people while holding them accountable at the same time? Food for thought. Have a great day.